Dusty Fitchner, Dallas, Texas. On deck, a photographer has three of our ladies posing as they exercise with hand weights. There's Miss Texas, Christy Fitchner, and in an exotic jungle print, Kelly Parsons, Miss California. And he doesn't want to miss Miss Mississippi, Cindy Williams. Look out, folks. Here comes Miss Texas. <laughs> Texas, will you join me, please? She is Christy Fitchner. She's 23. She lives in Dallas. She attended Southern Methodist University, and now being Miss Texas is a full-time job. Tell us about a day in the life of Miss Texas. How a might it go? day in the life of Miss Texas. Well, the average time that I wake up is about 6.30, and I can do anything from an hour-long radio show and then go to a rodeo and then do a a turtle derby and then go on to do a luncheon with the dignitaries of a certain city and since this is uh, the sesquicentennial year there are 10,000 different events going on throughout the state and some of the things that we've done are outhouse on wheel races <laughs> um, washing machine throwing contests we've had Prince Charles in town to cut a 90,000 90, pound cake and all those things get packed into one day is what makes up Miss Texas' schedule. Actually, being here at the pageant has come as a rest for you, hasn't it? In a way, there's a certain month. We spend six weeks on tour for the state. Um, we go all over the state, and we don't come home for six weeks. So actually, this three weeks has been, been fairly easy. <laughs> Good. It's been great fun. I'm glad it has. Thank you, Miss Texas. Thank you. <laughs> Christy is a green-eyed blonde. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 118 pounds. Christy is 23 years old. Just one name to go. Number five is Miss Texas. There they are, the five finalists for the title of Miss USA 1986. For the three areas of our semifinal competitions, the judges gave the highest average score to Miss Texas, with Miss Ohio second, and Miss Georgia third. But now the scores that got our five finalists this far are all discarded. Now that's how. We start fresh with our judges asked to decide which of our top five positions fourth, third, second, first runner-up, and of course our winner, is each judge's choice for each young lady. Now these votes will not be scores, but rather placements. And we love Miami too, Laura. Our five finalists have been chosen. Before they enter their final evaluation, our judges are going to have one more opportunity to help them decide on the proper placement of each young woman in our final ranking. Assisting us 
is Miss Universe 1985, Deborah Carthy Dew. And Miss Teen USA 1986, Allison Brown from Edmond, Oklahoma. Now, Miss Texas, will you step right over here to me, please? And will you four please step into the soundproof booth? So you cannot hear Miss Texas's answer to the question that I'm going to ask each of you. Now, the judges will not give a score, but they will observe as each contestant in turn answers the same question. And Miss Texas, the question is, the Statue of Liberty symbolizes the American spirit. If you are the new Miss USA, what would you hope to symbolize to the American people? Well, what I think of as American spirit, thinking back to 75 years ago since this is the 75th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty, is that as the immigrants came over there, over here, they had hopes and dreams for the future, and knowing that this country offered them freedom to do anything, I would hope that as my reign as Miss USA, I could instill that in all people that I meet, that to have a positive attitude towards your future and your hopes and your dreams, and you can fulfill anything you want. Thank you, Miss Texas. Thank you. Miss Georgia. Have our judges chosen the new Miss USA? Or are they doing it right now? That's what Miss Texas and the rest of us will be finding out soon. Our thanks and best wishes to our five finalists. All right, the judges have finished their voting. Each judge has punched into the computer his or her choice for fourth, third, second, and first runner-up, and of course, our new Miss USA. It won't be long now before we all learn who she is. Well, both of you step right down here, please. Now, one of you is about to become Miss USA. The other will be the first runner-up, and this is a very important position, because if for any reason Miss USA cannot fulfill her obligation for the entire year, the first runner-up will become Miss USA. I shall announce the name of the first runner-up, and then Miss USA. The first runner-up is Miss Ohio. Miss Texas is Miss USA. Congratulations. USA. Christy, you are the new Miss USA, the cash award, and all of the magnificent prizes are yours, and also the chance to be this country's representative for the Miss Universe pageant in Panama on July 21st. Now, as your predecessor, Laura Martinez Herring, reads the Miss USA creed, I'd like to have you step out here and show this wonderful Miami audience how happy you are to be Miss USA.
And now this is Bob Barker thanking all of you for joining us. Thank you. Good night. And on behalf of Christy Pitchner, our new Miss USA, Bob Barker, our guests, all of our contestants, and everyone connected with tonight's pageant, we'll be looking for you on July 21st when we bring you the Miss Universe pageant live from Panama, right here on CBS. This is Mary Fran saying good night. <laughs> program were recorded.